So we just opened up an entire case of the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh 2024 Mega 10 and let me just tell you, it wasn't that good. But we're here today to redeem ourselves. So what I decided to do was pick up two more tins. We're not, it's not over yet. I promise. We're going to pull good. We have two more tins to open up in today's video and I think it's going to be a good one. All my bad luck went into that case. That's fine because all the good luck's going to come into here. If you guys want to check out the live stream for the case opening, it should be on the channel already. I... I YouTube live did so it should be there if you guys want to check it out and we have a lot more videos coming I actually have another couple ideas that I want to do with this so there's gonna be a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh product coming up soon 25th anniversary Megatons I have to prove that this set is not that bad I have to prove it so we're gonna open it up today and we're gonna pull good let's go listen I'm gonna be honest with you guys I'm literally filming this right after we opened our case so I am a little bit tilted right now. I mean, we didn't open super well. We did get the Dark Magician Girl, that's a great card. But uh, there's a lot of secret rares that we're missing in this that we're, we're looking for, to be honest with you. And we're opening up two tins in today's video, okay? So two tins. We should be able to get something decent from two tins, right? There's no way we don't get anything decent. Now, the live stream, listen, it was very fun. If you guys didn't check it out, if you guys didn't catch it, uh, make sure to join in on some of the live streams. Um, if you guys are subscribed to the channel, you should get notified when uh, I start streaming. But if you guys go on any of my social media um, pages, then you guys should see that as well, like, because uh, I do usually post there when we go on live. But uh, we have a chaos base here over here. Okay, okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I pulled a lot of doubles in my case. So there's a lot of cards that we're missing, even the one-ups that we need, right? And uh, there we go. There, we're starting off hot. That's a good one. You know what? I am definitely going to take a Yama all day. That is one that we did not... In the entire, imagine that. Entire case. I didn't pull a single Yama. And Dark Magician Girl, let's go! That's a really good QCR right there. You know what? That pack was pretty good. That pack was quite good, if, you, if I say so myself. That's a great pack. We don't really care about the comments too much. Yeah, I'm going to put these over here for you guys to see. So you guys can take a look at all the cards that we pull. But you know what? Right away, right off the bat, that was a pretty good first pack. Yama into Dark Magician Girl is quite good. We do want the Raigeki alternate art. We do want the blue eyes. I know SP and Thrust is something that everyone's after. I don't really care for SP and Thrust. And I say that because I already own them. You know what I mean? Like, trust me, it's a good card to pull. And if we're going to pull anything, I would like to pull that. But I do need to try to dredge you on. I do need to try to dredge you on. So let's make it happen right here. Not to try and dredge you on, but... We got an F0, there we go. You know what? I am, I'm not too mad about this one either. Now you guys might be wondering, oh, Spanko, why are you excited? You just opened up an entire case and you're getting excited over an F0. Listen, the Dark Magician Girl is going to be really cool. That was my first F0 in the entire case. No, this is not even the same case. This is a different, this is just extra tins. That was my first F, so you can imagine, I, I've opened up a full case and I need one of like F0. I need those cards. I don't have any of them. So when I see a card like F0, which you guys might be thinking like, it's not that great of a card. I needed that card. Uh, we have an ultra rare here and secret rare is a heat are not so great to end it off but for the qcr we have a relinquished anima funny enough this is one of the cards i doubled up on i actually have three of them now i think uh, i have three of them i have no one i've not seen a single Imseti myself my friend alpha if you guys know alpha from from the channel you guys know alpha i'm sure you guys know alpha if you guys know alpha he opened half the case as well he opened six tins not a single Imseti. I opened, uh, you guys probably haven't seen it on the channel yet, but I opened a couple tins for some YouTube shorts and uh, they haven't come out yet, but I opened up some tins for some YouTube shorts and not a single Imseti. So you guys can imagine why I'm a little bit disheartened right now. You guys can imagine why I'm a little bit disheartened. Let's get into our first pack over here. This is a, oh, this is already our second tin? Maybe we'll do a third one. Maybe we'll do a third one. Let's, let's see, let's see. It depends on how good this tin is, okay? If this is a good tin, we'll end it off strong. If it's not a great tin, then I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get a Centurion Primera. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for a Trident Dragion, a Wanted Diabella Star, King Sark. Okay, you know what? This isn't Imseti, but it is a Horus card that I needed, so I'm not too mad about that. And Honest is not something I want per se, but it's not a bad card. It's not a bad card. It's not a bad card. And, and again, the thing is with this set is I'm gonna be honest with you. Now that I've opened it up, I could tell this set is very much like what kind of what kind of player are you are you a collector because if you're a collector there's some big hitters for you are you a meta player because if you're a meta player a lot of the meta cards are in the secret rare slot and the secret rare slot is, is very hard to hit you only get one secret per pack right and so oh premiere there we go there we go there we go that's exactly what i was looking for premiere is a really nice secret rare over here and we got a parallel exceed actually you know what that's not bad either it's not like a super meta relevant card right now but it is a pretty cool card in general right so uh, I'm not too mad about that one. You know what? That wasn't a bad pack. That wasn't a bad pack. Uh, let's, let's take a quick look here before the last pack here. I mean, we got the Dark Magician Girl you guys saw. 
I only I pulled one gadget. I pulled none of these, funny enough. I pulled the Wing Creeper, which is kind of cool. I uh, Bell we pulled. This I'm looking for for sure. I need the XL. I need this. I need this. I need another pink. Oh my god, there's so many cards in this set. Th th I get it. You know what? I get it. When people say they're upset about this set and it's not being amazing, I, I get it. It's because it's because exactly this. There's such a it's such a big set that it's really hard to hit the card that you guys are really looking for. And, and that that makes it kind of disheartening here. Okay. Next card is the Secret Rare. Let's put the Secret Rare and the QCR to the side. Our Ultra Rares are Instant Context and uh, Pit Knight Philly. Cool, 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 cool. Instant Context. I contact, 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 contact. I've, listen, I just came off of a two-hour stream and I'm, I'm kind of tilted. Let's see what we get for the Secret Rare here in three, two, one. Oh, Diabella Star is a really good Secret Rare. Okay, you know what? This is starting to make up for it. I'm starting to feel a little bit better. And for our last QCR, guys, we have... <gasps> And I, I just I just said that we didn't have it and we pulled it. XYZ Dragon Cannon. You know what? I'm happy that we pulled it because I did want one for the for the collection anyways. I didn't have one before. It's kind of off center though, but it's cool, it's cool. It's not the best QCR, but um, you know what? I feel like we should open one more tin. You know, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. One more tin. I said two, we're going three. We're going three tins. I, I have I have a, I have another video that I actually want to do that you guys might see after this one. I'm gonna I might need to buy some more tins at this point. And I need to buy some more tins because you know why? This tin is just it, uh, man. The emotional roller coaster this tin it gives you is just crazy. If I'm being 100% honest with you, I'm gonna put this to the side. The emotional roller coaster is crazy because like you pull really good and you get on a high, and then you see like nothing for like two packs, and then you're like no, and then you pull something good, and then you're on another high. It's crazy emotional roller coaster. But you know what? I'm gonna end it off all here, right here, right here, right here, because we're gonna pull a try to dredge you on right now. Ooh, rock of the vanquisher. Whatever, whatever. I mean, there's an ultimate rarity of this. And Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Wait, this is not the ultimate. This is Blue Eyes White Dragon. Blue Eyes White Dragon, let's go! This is an amazing pull. That is one of the best pulls. Um, if not the best QCR pull of this set. I get it. There's a lot of really cool cards, but Blue Eyes White Dragon, absolutely stunning card. I am so, I'm happy we opened up that 13. That, that, you know what? That's fine. Uh, like, it doesn't matter at this point. That was, this is not bad. This is not bad. We kind of fixed up here. Tri Brigade. Flame Burge. Flame Burge. Good secret rare over here. I was actually paying attention for the uh, Misprint secret rare, but it doesn't look like we have got the Prince Prince. And, oh, where's the QCR? Light and Darkness Dragon. There we go. You know what? I'm starting to see some different QCRs. That's what I'm saying. Guys, the reason, part of the reason I was so upsetty spaghetti in my live stream, if you guys were there for the live stream, if you guys weren't there for the live stream, you guys go watch it back, you guys are gonna see how upsetty spaghetti I was. It's because we were doubling up on everything. But now I'm seeing cards like Blue Eyes, Light and Dark News Dragon. That's what I wanna see, F-Zero. That's what I wanna see. All right, this has been a good opening. You know what? I am not upset. This has been a great opening. Q-Belt really wanted that card actually just to upgrade it because I think the only print that it had otherwise was common. So Q-Belt is actually a really good one. Um, I'm not too mad actually, that's a good ultra rare. I actually don't think I saw any of those in my case because I don't remember seeing that. Anyways, our secret rare right here. It's been a good three tins. I'm gonna be honest with you, it's been a good three tins. Let's see if we can end it. Ooh, Snake Eye, Sinful Spoil Subversion, not a bad card. I did see Synchro. I want it, Blazer is a better one, but I pulled three Blazer in my case. I want it to be RDA, just, just vanilla RDA. Vanilla, oh no, this is even better. Excel Synchro Stardust Dragon. That is an insane pull. Okay, that's what I'm talking about, guys. This is what I mean. Like you get a tin like this, well you get three tins, right? Look at this, three tins. Three, honestly, everything's been great. Like three tins, we got an Excel Synchro. We got a Lad, we got a Dark Magician Girl. We got an F-Zero. We got a Blue Eyes white dragon and then these cards are okay like they're not amazing but they're okay but still this is okay you know what i'm just gonna say it right now that was that on its own those three tens were probably just as good if not better than my entire case i'm gonna say it i'm gonna say it so there is a lot of rng okay guys i'm gonna say this again because i know that this is what i'm gonna hear that the tins are very saturated there's a lot of stuff in there but i will say when you pull like this it makes you feel like you know what Yes, it is very saturated. There's a lot of stuff in here, but you can get a few tins like I just did right here. Three tins and I pulled absolutely insane. So I'm very excited about this. I'm very happy I opened these tins up because I was debating on not opening them up. I'm very happy I did because I pulled insane. So thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys did enjoy today's video and to see more content like this one because we're doing a lot, ton of product openings. We're doing deck profiles, combo videos, all that good stuff right here on the channel. So make sure to like and subscribe if you guys did enjoy. I appreciate every single one of you. At the end of the day, I want to be able to do this with anyone, without every, every single one of you. Not just any one of you, every single one of you. I appreciate every single one of you. So thank you guys all for watching. With that, Spanko, sign out. Peace.